This video review was made possible by G2PO.com and Gamersgate.com. Download games anytime, anywhere. Hey everyone, this is Keith from ClassicLeak.com with a video review of Dead Island Riptide on the PC. Riptide is a follow-up to Dead Island and is a standalone game. You do not need Dead Island to be able to play it. And you can certainly play this game without playing the original though it does help knowing some of the backstory and the characters that are involved in this game. The main setting for this game is on a tropical island. Zombies in the sun in a tropical paradise. Certainly different to me. I'm used to the dark, scary alleyways and, and creepy settings with zombies, so this was a little bit different for me. Um, and the zombies are both slow and fast walkers. And there's also many different types of zombies that you'll encounter as you play. There are a few times where I would search an area only to come upon a stray zombie from behind and give you a little jolt not knowing that he was there. So let's cover some of the gameplay. For the weapons, it's mostly pretty close combat. You'll hack and slash your way through zombie hordes and one-off sprinting zombies through most of the game. To me, the hit detection appears a little off at times, which makes it tough for a close combat survival game. Stamina plays a big part in this game, as you cannot constantly swing your weapon without tiring. The game relies on timing a kick or swinging your weapon on a charging zombie, so save some of your stamina or you'll have to quickly switch to a gun or you'll have to take them one on one with your hands. The nail gun was nice to get once I found it because you can save your nails after you shoot them you can go find them again within that dead zombie. And I would definitely recommend getting the survival DLC pack through most of this game footage here you'll see that I like playing with the deadly barbecue weapon since it was a weapon that I repaired and reused from the beginning of my time on the island. Co-op is fun and it reminds me of playing games like Left 4 Dead or Borderlands 2 with other people. There are vehicles in this game. There's cars, trucks, boats that offers for some fun zombie roadkill. As far as the graphics go in this game I do like the tropical island as far as graphics go, but you can tell that they are a bit dated. You can you can see through the game footage that this is a DX9 game. It's definitely not high end. It's not terrible by any means. It's just it's definitely not the the highest end I've ever seen in a PC game. Um, this game is definitely gory. You can certainly hack off limbs and heads and other body parts as you make your way through the objectives. And the controls in the game are pretty standard. There was one nuance that I found while playing. If I walked diagonally, which was holding either W as well as A and D, my player slowed down to about half the rate that they were running or jogging, which to me was pretty dramatic. And I play this way in most of the games, so I found this to be a bit uh, daunting as I went about through the game. There is a leveling system in the game that levels up what you use, similar to a game like Skyrim. So if you use one-handed weapons, it'll level up. If you use a lot of guns, it'll level it up. There are also character trees so that you can pick and choose additionally what skills and attributes you want to upgrade. And as I was playing this game, I found myself kicking everything lying on the ground, as zombies will sometimes just get up off the ground. I'm not sure if they're playing dead or taking a siesta, but I went around kicking dead zombies throughout the game to ensure that they would not awaken or get up when I came near. For the story, it's enough to push you into the next level and get you the objectives. The zombie survival is pretty straightforward, but I found it enough to keep my interest. I would recommend this game if you're looking to play a zombie survival genre, or if you find it on sale in a few months. And while I don't think it should be avoided because there are some aspects of the game that I really liked, it's certainly not perfect. Sometimes it's just fun to just dump, jump into a game and hack and slash some zombies and, and I guess kick them while they're down. Thanks for watching and have a great day.